Hello and welcome to the Ultra Wide Master Race. We hope you enjoy your time with us. Please keep your hands and feet inside the ride at all times. Sit back and enjoy. Today we will be taking a look at another set of games that I personally believe look fantastic in 21 by 9 or Ultra Wide. I have already made a video like this previously, so make sure to check the link in the description or the card in the top right hand corner if I remember to put it in. Also, this video is in a 21 by 9 resolution, so if you are on an ultra wide monitor, or if you just want to experience the cinematic euphoria, make sure to head to the quality settings of this video and change it over to 1440p HD to enjoy. If a game isn't on this list, I either haven't played it, or it may be on the previous list. So make sure to leave any comments below on your personal favourite ultra wide games. For each game, I will talk briefly and then provide some gameplay without commentary. One more thing before we start, because people love to ask. I am playing all these games on an ASUS ROG Swift 34-inch ultra-wide gaming monitor and a GTX 1080. Starting off the list, we have a very recently released game, and that game is C of Thieves. That's right, the stylized pirate simulator looks absolutely fantastic in ultra wide. With the very minimal HUD of this game, your screen is almost always fully open to the open seas and beautiful scenery around you. This game is an absolute blast with friends, but by yourself can get boring relatively quickly. A few menus are in 16x9, but once you're in the game, this is no longer an issue. And if you want to try the game for free, do what I did and get a 14 day free trial for Xbox Game Pass, which allows you to play this game for free for two weeks. This game is also cross-platform, so you can play with any friends on Xbox, even if you are playing on PC. Next up, we have a game by the name of Near Automata. This game supports 21x9 during its gameplay, but stretches cutscenes to fit the 21x9 aspect ratio. I will provide a link in the description to a fix for this. Again, this game is beautiful in ultra wide and looks absolutely fantastic. Seems to be a combination of about a hundred different game genres, constantly changing up the gameplay so you never get bored. Unfortunately, the cutscenes are locked at 30 FPS, which is pretty jarring, and the game often seemed to struggle a little bit to maintain 60. But with a few tweaks to the settings, I guarantee you could get it to run almost perfectly. Report. Mail notification received from access point. Moving on to possibly one of the biggest games at this current time. Love it or hate it, it's Fortnite Battle Royale. Which is free by the way. This 100 person Battle Royale game pits you against 99 other players to see who will be the last alive. Drop from a flying bus, collect weapons as quick as you can, and try not to die as soon as you land. The ultra wide in this game helps you to see more to both your left and right, providing better vision against enemies who may believe they are out of your vision cone. It also enhances the game to have a bit more enjoyment when you're running between zones. And now, we're moving on to possibly my number one game of 2017, Divinity Original Sin 2. This amazing RPG game drew me in from the very beginning. 
You can choose to run with a squad of up to four characters in an incredibly tactical and intense turn-based battle system. This game also has four player co-op, so it's perfect to play with friends. This game supports ultra wide all throughout the gameplay and only reverts to 16x9 during loading screens and a few small cutscenes, but nothing that will affect you at all. I strongly recommend this game if you love a good RPG. Woman in a starched apron wipes a glass with a clean rag. The second to last game on this list is a free to play game known as Warframe, which has been described by many as a better and free destiny. This game supports ultra wide everywhere that I could tell and helps to scratch that itch for loot collection and sci fi third person shooting slash slicing up bad guys. The ultra wide adds to the awesome and varied landscapes around you and lets you see those enemies trying to sneak up with you. And since this game is free, I strongly recommend checking it out. Last but not least, we have another recent release for the PC, and that is Final Fantasy XV Windows Edition. Now this game looks absolutely stunning, and more than once has made me just stop and admire the scenery. All through the gameplay, the game runs in 21x9, but the loading screens and pause menu revert to 16x9. Since this game does look so good, the FPS struggles and definitely takes a hit, so I had to lower the settings to hit that 60 mark, but even then, it struggled to maintain it. But with the G-Sync on my monitor, it was hardly noticeable. This game is incredibly fun, and the bond you develop with your travel companions is incredible. But overall, this game looks amazing in 21 by 9. Anyway guys, I do hope you enjoyed this video showcasing some more amazing ultra wide games to check out. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like or even share it out to anyone who may be interested. And don't forget to leave a comment regarding any games you recommend I check out. And catch you later.